Hello everyone, and welcome to another The Isle Concept Analysis, a series of videos where I discuss about upcoming dinosaur concept arts released for Evrima. Today we will explore Baryonyx, its real-life counterpart, and how it's going to be in the Isle. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy the video. Baryonyx Walkeri, or Heavy Claw, a medium-sized carnivorous theropod from the early Cretaceous that inhabited the vast coastal areas of southeast England. With 30 feet in length and 8 in height, Barry was the middle child of the Spinosauridae family in terms of size, and just like most of them, was a semi-aquatic piscivore, possessing a very crocodilian lifestyle, living in the shorelines or shallow waters of the coast. One of their distinctive features are their well-developed forelimbs, alongside their sharp 12-inch long claws, a dangerous weapon that would have been mostly used for fishing, rather than active terrestrial hunting. These spinosaurids, just like most crocodilian species, would use mechanoreception to detect small fish beneath the waves, using their elongated snouts to catch its prey, while utilizing their massive claws to capture larger fish, much like grizzly bears in modern times. Their large amount of small, conical teeth were specialized in holding prey still, instead of focusing on bleeding their victims down like most land predators. And despite being a spinosaurid, Baryonyx was one of the few members not possessing resemblance of a dorsal sail of any kind, only having a distinct head crest, speculated to be used for sexual display exclusively. With the concept art we can see that the semi-aquatic nature Barry is known for in both real life and legacy not only will remain intact, but also amplified to accommodate the new presence and future mechanics Evrima will have in the future. They seem to have been promoted to a more traditional meteor carnivore alongside Serato and Allosaurus, shown by their clear physical dominance over small tier dinos such as Yuta and Tenotosaurus. With raptors especially, berries demonstrate the ability to repel their pounds. This can also represent an additional mechanic, but we will discuss about that later. They also heavily emphasize the use of their claws, being their almost exclusive weapon of choice in the concept. The illustrations also show their semi-aquatic specialization, being avid swimmers with a partial pescivore diet. This section in the concept is slightly trickier to decipher. It can either explain the power dynamic between Barry and Serato, or it may imply that berries are better combatants underwater. The conflicting aspect here is that we know from Sarah's concept art that they have better swimming capabilities than the average mid-tier theropod, while also possessing a very powerful bite. So if Sarah's are stronger than berries in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation, why would water prevent them from engaging, since we already know that they are good swimmers? Once Barry releases in 5 years, we will know for sure, but until then let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Lastly, it is pointed out that they will be able to perform some sort of claw sharpening. It is not clear if this is an actual mechanic or merely a scripted animation, without a purposes however. The overall conclusion of this concept seems to be mostly positive, with Barry being finally upgraded to a respectable position in the food chain, and something that I bet Barry mains have been waiting for for a long time. However, there is an alarming note that we should address. This image. I avoided it in the concept portion of the video because it showcases a potential problem that Evrima might have in the future, and that issue is power creep. MMO veterans might know the significance of such term, but for those who are not aware, power creep is a phenomenon where the bad management of an increasing amount of features in a game turns a portion of them objectively inferior or straight up useless. This image might be the first clear indicator that power creep is starting to settle in in Evrima. Deinosuchus was shown for the first time in 2018, four years ago. 
He was being worked on before Recode was even a thing, and it was planned to be an apex killer, a crocodile that wouldn't stop growing, reaching levels of power and size rivaling hypos. And now, he's clapped by berries. Of course, things change during development, but to go from being larger and stronger than a spino, to become barely bigger than a carno and easily killable by meteors, is truly a worrying sign that something went wrong. I won't go too deep on this because I have a video planned for this very topic, but this can be interpreted in two ways. Dino was utterly nerfed to the ground, or that the idol roster is so packed that some might be forgotten in an unbalanced state. Time will tell, but let's hope that this is just a specific, isolated case, rather than a symptom of something more severe. In case you enjoyed this video and you would like to check more concept analysis, here's three more. Or, if you want to binge the entire series, there you go, here's the entire playlist. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and I hope to see you soon. Stay safe.